What's up guys, Daan de Groot here. In this video, I want to take you guys through my daily routine. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu is still illegal in the Netherlands, so my routine is quite a bit different from the one you might have seen in this video, where I talk about my uh, routine when I'm training full-time in Brazil. So I thought it would be interesting to take you guys with me and show you how a day in, in my life looks like. So let's just start with the start. I generally wake up at 7 a.m. and from there I'll do my morning routine. I'll make a separate video about this because it's a topic I'm quite passionate about. I can talk on and on about it. Uh, but in short, it consists of breathing exercises, of reading and of cold exposure. Uh, but like I said, we'll, we'll get into it in a future video. Um, if it's out, I'll put it up here and I'll put it in the description as well. After I get my morning routine done, I'll, I want to get my first training of the day in. Usually I train uh, at least once, but preferably twice a day. My first workout of the day is generally, uh, well, of course, not now, uh, since jiu-jitsu is illegal, but generally it would be a, a sparring session um, with some training uh, at first, then a lot of specific sparring, since I'm mostly training with the same people. Um, it's always good to do some specific sparring. And then uh, I'll get some free sparring in. So let's get to the dojo. I'll show you some footage, of course, not from uh, from now when Jiu Jitsu is illegal, but from way back in the day. Um, and I'll talk you over it. So this training session was with my student Bart. He's a blue belt, uh, a little bit under 70 kilos. Uh, so quite similar to my weight. Very technical guy, very smart guy. So he's one of my, uh, my favorite training partners. I, what we're working on now is starting from bad situations or going on top from good situations. So on top, this is really good to increase your finishing uh, skills. Uh, you always want to translate your good positions into finishes. And on bottom, we learn how to stay comfortable in bad situations and uh, like always find our way out. So we started with the mount. We're also working some back mount, both offensive and defensive, um, as they're both quite important positions that occur a lot. And this is a concept I've been working on a lot. So I need to stay comfortable in bad situations. And whenever I do get a good situation, I want to be able to finish. And Bart is also uh, quite good at this. So after the, the specific from those, those situations, we also have a, a new concept we've been working on. It's like free sparring, but starting from the position you pick. So whenever we restart, whenever somebody taps, we restart in the position uh, the other person wants. So let's say I want to start in top mount. I'll tell Bert, I want to in, start in top mount. Whenever one of us gets a submission, the other one can pick the position. So let's say I got the submission, and next up Bart's going to pick his position. So maybe he wants to start in, in butterfly guard. He steps from there. That way you can both work on different positions, especially when you're training with the same person um, a lot, you're gonna be ending up in the same position. And by picking specific positions to start from, you'll be forced to get a lot more different situations instead of just free sparring. So when you train a lot with the same person, this is one thing I definitely recommend. Also, this takes away a little bit of the ego. So if you're losing your free sparring, uh, you might uh, eat yourself up a little bit about it. But when you're starting from say bottom mount it doesn't matter as much when you get that so you can take your ego a little bit out of the game So after training, it's time to, to head home, take the cold shower, and I'll generally make some breakfast and a good cup of coffee. And of course, I have to plug my coffee sponsor, Brandsack. Um, really good coffee. If you try them out, you're gonna be sold. Um, I'll make some breakfast, more on this in the morning routine video, and then I'll get to work. So uh, what does work mean? 
Of course, I've been working on my guillotine instructional. If you guys have been, uh, been following my social media and my YouTube channel, you know that's uh, gonna be releasing soon. It might even be out already when we upload this video. Um, I'm working on that and I'm teaching a lot of private classes. Uh, I mean, online private classes. I also have a new strength and conditioning coach, uh, Noel Burns from Breda SC. And I'll go there at least once a week and then I'll also uh, do the workout again at home with the stuff I have at home. So I have a kettlebell at home. Uh, but today we actually went to, uh, to Breda. We went to train and I'll show you some footage of that as well. My, my strength and conditioning gym is about a 30 minute train ride away from Rotterdam, um, which I don't really mind. I like to use train rides to read. Uh, the book I'm reading here is The Lives of the Stoics. Uh, of course on an e-reader, which is way handier and uh, easier to carry around with you than a paper book, find me in the comments. And then I'll get to, to Breda. Um, it's actually worth the trip. The, the strength and conditioning coach I'm working with is one of the best strength and conditioning coaches in the country. He's working with a lot of pro athletes, triathletes, uh, combat athletes. Um, he's working with Dennis as well, uh, more commonly known as the Wurkenburger. And he works with me now. Uh, and he's worth the trip to go to Breda. Very knowledgeable. He's working with elite military personnel as well. And uh, he always likes to say that his training is good. Uh, but his jokes are bad and this is very much true but it's still worth the trip to go to to Breda. He has a beautiful gym, uh, I'll give you a small tour. So this is the big uh, area, of course it's closed now so we train outside but there's a lot of squat racks, uh, there's there's a, a grass mat we can run around on, there's the merch, the elastics and this is the, the stuff we use in our training. So we got the bars, we got the dumbbells, we got kettlebells as well, and we just pick it up in the gym, then we train outside in the tent when it's raining, or even in open air when it's not. And today's a sunny day, so our training will be done outside. Beautiful sign, your opponent thanks you for not giving 100% today, always keeps me motivated. I'll show you uh, small, uh, some, some parts of the workout, I won't show you the entire workout, but one of the things Noel is really keen about is unilateral training. So he always tells us that when you're, whenever you're doing any sport, unless you're doing like powerlifting, you're doing things always one side more than the other side. So we train like that as well. This is a single leg deadlift, uh, quite hard. Uh, don't underestimate it. You need to keep your balance. And at the same time, you have to carry that heavy as kettlebell. Together with the, the single leg deadlifts, we also did some push-ups while uh, shoving our dumbbells under the ground with us. So this strains both your uh, your pushing and also some uh, anti-rotation. Quite a useful exercise. Uh, like I said, Noel's really a uh, cool expert. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be interviewing him soon for the channel, create some content with him. Very knowledgeable. Uh, if you wanna learn more about him and his methods, I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the top right corner right now. And also uh, put, it, put his channel in the description. So when I'm not training in, uh, in Breda to do the strength and conditioning, I'll be training another uh, jiu-jitsu session, a uh, hypothetical jiu-jitsu session. Um, also teach a lot of private class, uh, online private classes at night. Um, here I'll show you some footage of me and my, uh, my student Jack. Uh, again, super old footage. Um, you probably don't even recognize us because the footage is so old. Uh, but this private class was about triangle defense, triangle escapes as well. So uh, let's have a look at that. So for this private class, I'm working with Jack. I've been working with Jack for, I think, over a year now. He's, uh, he used to be a high-level boxer, and now he's focused on jiu-jitsu. And it's always fun to work with people that already have martial arts experience. Uh, we already built a very nice base game for Jack, so he has a good guard, some good passing, good attacks. And in this session, we worked on something a little bit more specific, being triangle defense and escapes. So for my, uh, for my private classes, I usually start with a repetition of the techniques of the last time. Then we'll add some new techniques, so we'll work on new techniques, new concepts. After that we'll do specific sparring, so that way you can apply the things you learned uh, against somebody that's going to give you different reactions. And after we, we do specific sparring, we usually do a round of free sparring and we film the techniques. So at the filming of the techniques, I like my students to teach the techniques back to me. So this is what we're seeing now. Jack is showing the techniques we worked on during the class. He's explaining how he uh, would escape and defend the triangle to me. That way you can recall the things you learned, uh, which makes it uh, a lot easier to retain the things. So when you teach the techniques back to me, you'll be able to retain the techniques way better. 
One thing that's really important for me is that uh, I don't want to use a private class to show how much I know. I want my private classes to, um, to teach you as much as you can retain. So it's important you keep repeating those moves back to me and the next class will repeat the moves again at the beginning of the class to warm up. Um, so it's all about you learning, not as much uh, about me showing off how many triangle escapes I know. So that's normally what a day in my life looks like. I train in the morning, I work in the afternoon, I train again in the evening, and then uh, usually I, train, uh, I teach some classes as well, some online private classes. Uh, for this day, I just taught some private classes at night because, because I already had my two workouts in. I like to aim for at least two workouts uh, every day. One if I'm really busy, but usually I aim for two workouts. So jujitsu and strength and conditioning, or two times jujitsu. Um, if you guys are interested, in my private classes i'll leave a link in the description below so you can contact me through that you'll see all the information about it as well um, if you like this video please leave a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel i'll also be making a video about my morning routine very soon uh, talk about cold exposure about uh, my coffee my breakfast and uh, the books i'm reading so if you like that please subscribe to the channel i'll keep you up to date and see you guys next time Oops.